I'm Kate Jackson and I represent Andragogy. Andragogy is a Greek word that means the art and science of teaching adults and based on that methodology that's exactly what we do. We create individually tailored business English, customer service and soft skills training programs for our clients here in Thailand. Andragogy is a really unique name. What else makes your company unique? We're the only service provider that work in partnership with our clients to create and facilitate personally developed and individually tailored programs and packages that suit their staff's needs and the business actions, ranging from retail all the way through to pharmaceuticals and manufacturing. And how do you see this fitting in with the values of Thailand and ASEAN as a whole? Okay, well we recognize that there's a skills gap in terms of English language speaking in Thailand and based on the current uh, demographics, there's a skills gap that's going to be missing for about the next 20 years. So we recognize that there is a need for companies and emerging markets to develop their staff's ability uh, and as English is lingua franca of the business world, uh, we think that it's a very relevant program for Thailand and Thailand's development. We also know that the ASEAN community coming right around the corner, uh, trade and communication between the Southeast Asian countries is going to increase and therefore it's imperative that the businesses have the skills required for this. So how does this then fit in with your uh, short-term and long-term goals for Andragogy? Well, I hope to be going uh, to be continuing as, as well as we have been doing. Uh, maybe, for example, in the next three years, I want to have grown our client portfolio and continue to be providing um, firm return of investments and clear growth and development with their staff and their workforce in Thailand. In the next five years, I'd like to see us working in, in neighboring countries like Laos, Cambodia and Vietnam. Um, there has been potential and potential clients reaching out to us already. So I guess that I'm ready to kind of set my eyes on working across borders. And maybe in 20 years, I'd like to be really recognized in the market as being the number one go-to business partner in terms of learning and development and business English. Great. A big issue we're seeing right now in ASEAN is the environment. Mm -hmm. Is Andragogy taking any measures to go green or be sustainable? Okay, I guess sustainability is that we want to ensure that we always provide um, continuous quality learning and development programs and that also goes in terms with that everybody nowadays, Generation Y, even Generation Z, are turning online and so we're trying to make a conscious effort to have a paperless work a workforce and maybe take a lot of our learning programs and put it into a blended learning package so a lot of our stuff a lot of our classroom and materials and programs can also be accessed online and through our apps uh, I'd like to see a paperless classroom as well so that I hope will drive uh, sustainability throughout the region as we develop too so along with sustainability, have you, have you found any other challenges that Andragogy has undergone? Uh, some of the challenges that I think whether we're going to be facing in the next, in the next couple of years, in the, in the short term future, will be managing across borders. Uh, and I want to ensure and strive that we give quality programs and support to our clients. It doesn't matter if they're here in Bangkok or if they're in neighboring countries. That's a challenge for me. Well, with these challenges come successes. How has Andragogy been successful and what achievements can you share with us? I guess when I set up Andragogy, I kind of want it to be a social enterprise because I believe that staff development in turn creates business development and therefore community development. And I kind of had my eyes on looking at the, focusing on the SME market. But based on the work that we do and the clear return of investment based on our methodology, a lot of bigger clients have been approaching us because they like the way we work, they like the way we do things. And I guess one of our biz biz biggest successes to date is having two of our clients are SETs. They're on the Stock Exchange of Thailand and that makes me really proud, really happy. Well, it sounds like you have a lot to be proud of. Thanks so much for joining us today, Thank Kate. You. Thank you.